This is an overview of the Icon Carousel by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, I'm going to drag my Icon Carousel inside of my Elementor column. And as you can see what this widget does, it's just a content carousel with an icon for each slide, a title, a separator, some text, and a call to action button. I'm going to take you over all of the settings. So first of all, we have the settings for loop, autoplay, as you can see right now it's autoplaying. I'm just gonna close that. And you can see that the autoplay has stopped and you can navigate manually using the buttons over here. The next setting is for number of items. So you can determine how many items you want to display. So for example, if I want to show only two items, I can change this into two and it will show two items. This field is responsive. So if we jump into tablet mode, we can determine that in tablet mode, we want three items, for example, or just one item. So that's really comfortable to change this. Let's jump back into desktop. And over here in desktop, I'm gonna change it back to three, just so that looks better. And the next setting is for the margin. So this is the space between the slides. We can make this bigger or smaller. For example, this is how 40 looks, or maybe 10. So I'm just gonna leave that at 30 because I think that looks best. Transition speed is the speed that it takes when you move the slide. So let's make this a lot slower, like for example, five seconds instead of just one. And now if I click, you can see how slow that's transitioning. The autoplay interval is for the speed, how long it takes between each autoplay interval. So let's turn back the autoplay. Let's push this down, the transition speed and make the autoplay to three seconds. So now it will move only every three seconds. So one, two, three, and now it's going to move. Perfect. Let's look into items. So uh, let's just turn the autoplay off so it won't be annoying. Let's go into items and see what we have here. So over here, we have a couple of options for each item. The first one is to change the text up here and we can take change the long text as well, so title and text. We can change the icon from the Elementor icon library. Let's just take this one, for example, and insert it. So you can see how nice that looks. Icon color, so we can change speci specifically for each slide the icon color. So sometimes you're going to want different colors for each icon in each slide. You can change the button text so we can change that to learn more for example and we have an option to add a link and a background color as well so also if you want to highlight just one of these like i did right now just the first one you can do that so these are the settings for the items you can duplicate items delete items and of course you can add new items that's just how items behave inside of elementor Let's jump into style, and I'm going to take you over all the different sections. So the first section is for the padding. This is the padding inside of the slide. We can increase that and just make it look better this way. Let's choose 50, for example. I'm using my up and down keys. We can change the alignment, so you can change the overall alignment of the text and icon and everything inside of here. There is an option to make radius. So if you wanna make them rounded, you can make them rounded. And we have an option for all the border styling. So we can make our borders black and maybe make the width a little bit stronger, maybe change the style. You can turn it off overall if you want to. So those options are over here. Separator color is this line under over here. So we can change that to black, for example. We can change the height. You can eliminate it overall. And for each element that I'm going to show now, you have an option also to space it out. So the space determines the space above the element. So for example, 
if I'll go into title, now the title is the space between the icon and the title. So that's how the spacings work. And of course, also in title, you have title uh, text, typography. Let's just see how that looks. If we push this up, you can see it's making the titles bigger. You can change the font to any font you want, like in any Elementor widget. Perfect. So we've done a separator title. Let's jump into the icon. You can just make the icon bigger if you want to, and you can space the icon as well. The next section is for the text. Nothing special here. Text color, text typography, you can change. And the button. So over here in the button, we can uh, change the radius. So for example, if you don't want it rounded at all, you can do that. All of the color options, padding is just for how wide the button is. And you can turn off the button overall if you don't want a button at all. Navigation, we just have a navigation color over here, just so you can change your navigation color because sometimes maybe this carousel is going to be on a dark background and you want to change it to your brand colors. So that's how you do that. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.